This entire trip was made possible by... Let's Discover Travel. More on that later. What is going on everyone? Welcome to the channel. This weekend we are in beautiful Amboseli. So it's actually one of our favorite parks, even though this is only our uh, second time being here. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it's because of mainly the elephants. And every time you see an elephant... It's a good day. <laughs> and right in front of our accommodation, we have, or will have eventually, when there's no clouds, the most beautiful view of Mount Kilimanjaro. So I'm very excited for that. Yeah, it's going to be beautiful. And our accommodation is a little bit more unique. It's not tent. It's not really cottage. It's an in-between. We're going to show you that yeah. a little bit later. First, we're hungry. So let's go for lunch. We literally just arrived. <laughs> so this actually isn't fenced. Like the elephants come right up if they want to. So that means we're ready to go. And somebody comes and picks us up. <laughs> ready. So this is actually the main lodge and this is the dining area where we'll have all of our meals. But when we first showed up, there was actually an elephant right over there. Like you walk into the camp, makes sense. Oh, by the way, it's called Elephant Gorge Camp. <laughs> so we were joking how we were like finish our lunch. So I was like, let's go over there and we'll watch the animals. And we're like, actually there's no animals. And like literally a minute later, a family of almost like 10 elephants come like running down the path and I just got up and I did my happy dance and my day's made. <laughs> so we just came back from lunch and now it's time to give you guys a room tour. So welcome to our cabin. It's not a tent, cottage, something more. Anyways. <laughs> We have, something I really like is that there's a whole bunch of windows. Now a little bit of a downside that we've seen so far is it can get hot, um, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna cool right off at night. We have a king size bed. We've got lots of space, which is amazing. And then behind the headboard, you have a working space. So we have our desk laptop already kind of set up there. And then into the bathroom, now something that's kind of funny, we didn't realize until afterwards, your shower is here. So it's kind of like an open concept shower, but it is steep downwards, like I'm going downhill. Um, but then this is like your tent screens and everything, so you can let some breeze in. So are closed right now, just in case we want to shower. Bathroom, really nice bathtub, love that. You have a wardrobe, full life mirror, double sink, and then back into the main area. to go on a safari. Super excited because Ambassadi has the best game drive. Mainly because of elephant, but still, Kilimanjaro too, if the clouds are going away. So they do have trucks for their own safaris. This one looks very nice. I don't think they're actually using this one, but today we are using, not the one behind it. This one. We are heading out on our first game drive and that's always a good option is self-driving if you have the right vehicle if you're equipped for it it also helps you save a little bit of money when you go to places um so it should take like 25 to 30 minutes we have directions do you think we can do it without getting lost i think so i think it's about a 75 percent chance yes sounds about right Where are we? We did a big circle. I have no clue how this happened because at no point it felt like I was going in a circle, but we just came back from po to point A where that big barrier is. Okay. Yeah, so we need to turn around. Let's go with the road that we know onto the main road and then the gates there. Okay. At the end of that. So I turn around? Let's turn around. Okay. We did say there was a 75% chance. Well, yeah. 70, we took the 75% uh, chance of getting lost, I guess. That's what you meant, right? Uh, <laughs> something like that. As uh, we were filming that clip, we heard like a car honk behind us and we're like, where's that come from? Um, we recruited some help. They're gonna take <laughs> us to the park. 
So we just said bye to the rangers and kind of pointed us in the right direction. And when we told us where we were from and what we did that big circle, they thought it was very funny. <laughs> we made it. So just like last time, it took quite a bit of time to like go in, even though I was the only person in line. I wasn't even in line, showed up to the kiosk, paid, showed my ID and everything. That took one minute and then it took 12 to 15 minutes to get my proof of payment and access the park. So I don't know what their system is like, but it's wrong. It needs to be faster. All the other national park, they have this thing figured out. Roby National, you just yeah, like drive exactly. right in pretty yeah. much. Anyway, on the plus side, there's an elephant right there. See it? We, we're like 100 meters in. That's, that's why Ambicelli is it's so good. Big tusks it's too. huge. So we're just heading back to camp. We had a perfect elephant fix. It's a little, little bright over there. <laughs> um, and it looks like it's pouring over top of camp. So let's see if we don't get stuck in the mud. 75% chance? No, we're good, we're good. <laughs> we're in the beast. <laughs> uh, it hasn't failed us. Nah, maybe a few times, but it's all good. Guys, currently we are having a beautiful sunset behind me, but look at Killy. You can actually see it all right now and it's beautiful. I can't believe that there's snow on top of it. This is how high it is. Like this is not Canada. No, no, it's Tanzania and there's snow. How crazy is that? Can't wait to climb it. Soon, you'll see. So we are back to the tent. Well, it's not really a tent, but I, I'm probably going to say tent multiple times again in this video. So now we're going to take a quick shower, get ready and go out because they have a beautiful fire ready. And I feel like sitting by the fire with a nice glass of wine wouldn't be too shabby. What do you think? I'm pretty pumped to do that. I think it's going to be great. So there is instant hot water and we like that. There's a lot of bugs. We got to get out super fast. One, two, three, super fast. <laughs> So we had elephants, which are our favorite. And now I'm sitting here with a glass of wine at my campfire. I mean, this day can't get much better. So we just came up from the fire to the main lodge for supper and they actually have like a little spotlight. Right now there's no animals, but if there's any, we'll let you guys know. We also noticed that this lodge is actually built around like natural feature. There's like a real tree in the back. We're seeing like two massive rocks and everything is just built around it. So they, they kept like the, the natural appearance of it, which is very nice. When I first arrived, when I first arrived as usual, I told the chef that chapatis are my favorite. So chapati test. I think those are actually some of the best chapatis that I've ever had. They're very They're good. They're delicious. So day one check, very good suppers. Best chapatis Best that chapatis I've ever of air, especially according to Tracy. They, they're on my top list for sure. But Tracy says best chapati ever. Oh, I think they're so, best chapati. So there's that. Uh, overall, we had a super good day. Very excited. Mm. Tomorrow we're gonna wake up early, even though Tracy's very tired already. <laughs> and we're gonna go for an early game drive with a nice morning sunrise. We have some plans in the afternoon, little activity that we have as well, and probably sundowner at the end of the day while watching Kilimanjaro. So that sounds like a pretty good day to me. It does. But for that to happen, you gotta me go to sleep bed. First. <laughs> Good morning guys, we just woke up kind of early at 6 a.m. and the view we had straight from the bed of the Kilimanjaro mm -hmm. that was fully uncovered, no clouds, was phenomenal. But and that, now it's covered up again. That did not last long because now it's pretty much entirely covered. Yeah. But that was just that was worth waking up it that early. But we also woke up that early to go on a game drive. Mm -hmm. So we're already all packed up, ready to go. We're going to pick up our breakfast because yeah. we're getting a packed breakfast this morning. 
and let's go, let's go to Ambaselli. <laughs> Are you guys ready? Because I'm ready. And don't worry, this time we know the way. So we shouldn't get lost. If we get lost, it's our own deck fault. Left or right? Seriously? Yeah. Left. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so uh, so Tracy that. knows. Apparently, the way. I know the way, and he does not. <laughs> Tracy's currently practicing her off-road skills, so hold on! Guys, we just entered Amboseli National Park and my safari driver just spotted a hyena. I'm pretty good at this thing. <laughs> Who are the elephants? I see elephants. So while Tracy's driving and taking care of business, let me talk to you about my new favorite hoodie. You guys probably remember in like 90% of the video, every time I wear a sweater, it's my old Canada red sweater. That is done, that is the past. Now I have this super cool UV sweater, very good quality, super soft inside, I love it. You guys need one, trust me, you'll be surprised. So as per our tradition, when we come here at Embaselli, we get a pack of breakfast from the camp and we do a breakfast with the elephants. It's my favorite breakfast. We've got some breads. And I see some eggs. Ooh. And I think there's sausage and bacons in there. And some fruits. Pretty good. And I got my coffee already poured. And they also gave us a cooler and they were like, there's a few drinks in there. So we're expecting like, I don't know, like orange juice, pineapple juice, milk, water, things like that. But there's actually beer as well. <laughs> it is 7.51 in the morning. So maybe later. It's pretty much empty, so. I'm refusing to let David drive because I need to get over my fear of driving within Nairobi. So my first step is just to get super com comfortable with the clutch so I have hiccups. So we're gonna put her to the limit and drink coffee and drive. Standard. Yes. <laughs> it's only in a fire park, we're fine. We're Let's fine. go. We just found two lions. They're right there. Do you see them, guys? No, just joking. They're actually right there. Every time we come to Ambicelli, I'm fascinated to see like all those old camps that just like a few years back, they were actually thriving safari camps, but because of the flooding, this is now all wetland there's actually at the end of this road uh, a few other camps i think the serena and old Tekay or something like that and I, I hope they're gonna be fine because like the water right now seems a little bit higher than the last time we were here so fingers crossed because that's no good for business back in the driver's seat were you sad not driving no i actually was like focusing on filming stuff so no, that's what i want to do more the true winners here are definitely the elephants because they don't seem to mind this flooding at all. It's so like, I don't know, they look so even more majestic and peaceful mm -hmm. just watching them walk in the water and it's yeah. calm out, like, and it's it, beautiful. It's much deeper than it looks too. Yeah, it is. They're like halfway in. <laughs> <laughs> Tracy just found Wildebeest Island. Yeah, it's a little <laughs> island full. Of wildebeest, oh, wildebeest, just like the, the name says. <laughs> I need more coffee. So a few months ago, Tracy and I found a movie, uh, I think, I don't know, on one of those streaming platforms, and we're like, oh, cool, like, it was filmed in Kenya, like, let's watch it. it Specifically was, Ambicelli. Yeah, it was actually filmed here in Ambicelli. Yeah, and it had some decent actors in it. Yeah, exactly. It was called uh, Endangered, Endangered Species. Species. Don't watch it. It was so bad. Don't it's watch so bad. It. But we just drove beside the airport, and the airport is, like, where kind of the film is starting. Yeah. We are just outside of Ambicelli Park. <laughs> So, um, yeah, and the rest was actually filmed at Tawi. But, like, everything is CGI, like, crappy CGI, and you're in a safari park. Yeah. Like, like you don't need to CGI just, animals in here. Yeah, but they did. Anyway, 
very bad movie, but all that to say that it was filmed right here beside us, so I thought yeah, it was cool. cool. And the rest was at Tawi. We'll link our, our, our Tawi video up top and, uh, and down below as well. because that's great. That's, that's a good spot too. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay, carry on. A whole new world. A new fantastic point. No one to tell us no or where to go. The same only dreaming. Just in case you were wondering what it looks like behind the scene, that's pretty much what it looks like most of the time. So we did not know that, but Embassy actually has an observation point, which is like on top of a hill, and we just found out. So we parked the truck and we're gonna climb up. So the last time we were here, we saw it on the sign, but like we would just we go to the next sign, it wouldn't be there. So we never really found it. Um, but yeah, found it now. And also, on our way here, we saw the smallest elephant ever and then wanted to pick it up. Well, clearly you can't. Uh, <laughs> but it was so cute. <laughs> This is what the top looks like. Beautiful view right now. There's so many elephants, so it makes us happy. And we see a couple of hippos kind of yeah. sprinkled in the water there. And all around this place, there's a bunch of like fun facts about animals and embacelli, which is very interesting. Like uh, a Ina's can yep. digestive system can break down bones and teeth, but not hair. I feel like that's a weird thing not to be able to break down. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> Lions, they, yeah. They, they sleep for 20 to 21 hours a day. Yeah. And a bunch of other stuff so yeah. come up here and and learn about animals that's the beast right there surrounded by land cruisers ew, ew. something else great about this place there's a bathroom especially for you ladies sometimes uh, you know in national parks not always easy to stop for a pee even though tracy's a pro now she doesn't mind but she's always appreciative of a true bathroom <laughs> not bad pretty clean colorful i like it Thank you. So you are not coming back. Yet. No, not today. Okay. Have a good day. Okay. Back to the tent. Not really a tent. That was a very nice game drive. That was really good. We saw so many things. Yeah, we actually did see quite a bit of stuff. Yeah. And I hear they prepared me a bath. I'll just go, go check, check it out. It out. <laughs> Just arrived to the main lodge for lunch. Let's see if we have some friends. We even have an elephant friend. So back from lunch, very delicious. But now this is the time of the day where we relax. Hashtag Tracy's gonna sleep and I'm gonna work. I need a little recharge because I feel a little burnt out, but that's okay. And we're going to catch you guys back up for the... Much better. Nature walk. So that's what we're going to do right now, but first ring the bell. Hold on, i got to put this in the back. So Elephant Gorge Camp, that is the gorge. It starts at the bottom of Mount Kilimanjaro and go all the way down to Amboseli. Every time they have very heavy rain around Kilimanjaro, this thing floods up and it becomes a river. We just have a natural toothbrush. toothbrush. Lion paw prints. So the end of the bushwalk, we just found a nice little spot by we, I mean, our guide <laughs> found a nice little spot for us to watch the sun go down. And I think we might be able to see the top of Kilimanjaro at the same time as the sunset. I think Because the so. clouds are slowly moving right. Yeah. And they met us with drinks. Of course. <laughs> 
Those guys are the best. They organized everything for us. Yeah. <laughs> so now we watch sun go down. Time to go back to the camp. So the acacia trees here in Kenya have like little hooks so when you walk around they kind of grab your clothing or your skin and they kind of pull you back. So in Swahili they call it Ngoja Kidogo. Which, Ngoja. Ngoja Kidogo. There you go. Ngoja Kidogo. <laughs> that translates to English that means wait a bit because it grabs you and pulls you back. <laughs> so wait a bit. <laughs> On our way back, we just saw an elephant. I know that maybe on the camera it looks far, but it was not far at all. It was amazing. So we just finished our bushwalk back to the lodge and it was amazing. Okay, so I don't think I highly recommend a bushwalk as much as I recommend it here. Yeah. You're literally like, sometimes there's no path and you're walking through the bush and the knowledge they have, it's more mm -hmm. real. Like authentic, like they, they really like, they know so much about yeah. everything like the different poops of animal to to the tracks the trees like it's very so, interesting really cool moment yes seeing like having our sundowner with the kilimanjaro was amazing yeah that was a 10 out of 10. but really cool moment is we were walking and all of a sudden he's like no backtrack and go over the other way so we did that and he's like just stay like silent during this part then we got back and we finally saw it and there was an elephant that we had to go around and like that was phenomenal. M again, much Amazing. closer than what it looked like. <laughs> so that was great. Highly recommended. That was great. Yes. Now tonight we are having a supper, a barbecue supper yeah, by the good. bonfire. So that's going to be great. Yeah. <laughs> For supper, we have some salad kachumbari, which is our absolute favorite. And some, baked pies. <laughs> <laughs> some baked potatoes, chicken, I think some lamb sausage, and something else. It all looks amazing. Just doing a quick line check. We're good. I think we're good. Supper was fantastic. We had that amazing like charcoal grill lamb again, which was one of our favorites from day one. But I think my special memory from here is the stars. I think top moments of my life, number one, oh, sorry, I just got breaking up. <laughs> Flashlight problems. <laughs> is Great Rift Valley, that first Airbnb we went to in Great Rift. The stars were phenomenal because it's the first time I ever experienced that second best like under the stars moment is actually right now so many stars are out it's freaking beautiful i kind of have no words like it's phenomenal so we're gonna sit outside i asked them if the, that's okay and they're like yeah yeah that's fine just look for animals every so often so we'll do that <laughs> um, we're gonna sit outside look at the stars for a little bit have some quality time together and then we'll go to bed coffee delivery at 7 30 in the morning yes please <laughs> hi hi hey how are you yes so they just brought me coffee and like it only really comes with cookies so they brought cookies but they are the cutest like that's an elephant that's a lion. Like, how cute are those? On our way to breakfast, there is no killie this morning. Like, none. I couldn't even tell you that there's a mountain there. So there's that, sadly. But we saw it yesterday, so that's pretty good. Special shout out for their crepes. They're really, really good. One of the coolest things about the bathroom in the main lodge area is the view. Like, look at this. Okay, 
Okay, so we're about to leave and what to say about this place. Definitely on our top tier list for sure. Yeah, it's been fantastic. Um, I think one of the highlights, I say one, there's so many highlights, uh, the elephants. Yes. That come always right there a, when you're eating. Always a highlight. And then the bushwalk last night, I yeah. highly recommend doing that. Like that was, I don't know, I've never felt that close to yeah. nature. I yeah, know the, that the, sounds weird. The guides but like, here are very knowledgeable and ending that walk, like on that rock, watching the sunset in Kilimanjaro. Oh my like 10 out of 10 experience. That was very, very fun. Yeah. Um, overall, this place cost uh, 18,000 uh, cash per yeah. night, plus a thousand per person for conservation, conservation. fees. Mm -hmm. And uh, it starts at that price depending on the season and everything. Yeah. So make sure to... And we did full board. We didn't do game drive. Yes. Like we did our own game drive. Yeah. So, so make sure that. to connect with uh, Let's Discover Travel. These guys will have everything yeah. ready to go for you. They're the best. We love them. You guys know. Um, but yeah, otherwise, time to go back oh. to the concrete jungle. We do have to mention this, how eco-friendly without yes. feeling eco-friendly yeah it's it looks like very luxurious like the, yeah. the the hot water and the pressure in the in the shower is Phenomenal. very surprising for a safari camp we've been to yeah. a lot this is like a top tier shower i do have to say we are the only ones here though so maybe if they're full they might not have as much hot water i don't know uh, but like i had a bath yesterday in yeah, hot water and it was like, great yeah. Perfectly fine. Everything works on solar. They're very mindful of the environment. There's no fans. The animals. The water are... is filtered by their solar yeah. power. Yeah. And the you put had some clips of like the rocks. How everything's kind of built around yeah. nature. And that I really very liked. very nice. So Anyways, yeah. Had to put now, that in there. Now back to concrete jungle. Yeah. So don't forget to follow uh, Let's Discover Travel. They're the yeah. best hitting gems and everything. We've been following them before working with them. Like since oh, yeah. we arrived. This is how we find all the cool places <laughs> that we make video about. But otherwise don't forget to like this video subscribe to the channel and see you guys in the next one <laughs> is it working it, yeah. is my flashlight working <laughs>we get a pack of breakfast and we get a uh, breakfast uh, breakfast and get elephants for elephants for breakfast that's a big breakfast my husband decided to drop a phone on my face though. So. It wasn't on purpose, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's not on purpose. Show your eye. It's really not that bad. A little bit swollen. <laughs> I thought it was going to turn color. It did not. <laughs>